The video gives remedies of Moringa leaves turning yellow or white, holes in the leaves, Moringa not growing or poor growth and how to revive a dying Moringa tree. Leaves turning yellow. This may be due to overwatering or underwatering or poor nutrients in your soil or poor light. Insert your index finger in the soil, if you feel dry soil at one inch below, then water deeply. Fertilize your moringa plant and move the plant in direct sunlight or a brighter location. Yellow moringa leaves are edible, you can use moringa leaves that have started to turn yellow if they do not have any mold or bad smell. Leaf Deformation Irregular yellowing with leaf deformities is caused by pests or a mineral deficiency in soil. If you notice a pest, then spray a neem solution on tree. Just mix 1 milliliter neem oil and a few drops of dishwashing liquid soap in 1 liter water and spray on the leaves, branches, and the trunk. If no pests are visible, then fertilize your moringa once a month to overcome calcium or boron deficiency. Moringa leaves turning white. White spots or patches on leaves are due to powdery mildew. Treat it with a baking soda spray. Mix 1 teaspoon baking soda, 1 milliliter pest oil and a few drops of dish washing soap in 1 liter water and spray. Holes in Moringa leaves and defoliation of the tree. Holes in leaves and buds and defoliation of tree is a result of caterpillars on the tree. To treat this problem, remove the damaged and infected parts of the tree. Apply a thick layer of mulch on the soil, leaving 6 inch from the trunk. Spray neem oil on the tree is an effective natural pesticide for controlling caterpillars in the garden. Poor growth, not growing or flowering. Moringa will grow slowly due to improper light, temperature, and humidity. Place your moringa where it gets at least 6 hours of direct sunlight. If direct sunlight is not possible, then provide maximum possible bright light. Time to time pruning will encourage the tree to produce multiple branches, making the tree bushy. This will encourage more leaves and flowers and more pods. Lack of nutrients in soil may be the reason of the poor growth. Amend the soil by adding fertilizer or compost in soil. How to Revive Dying Moringa Tree The main reason your moringa is dying because its soil is not free-draining and holds water. This causes moringa root rot quite fast, killing the tree within a few days. The waterlogged soil can cause a fungal disease, causing severe damage to the plant and the death of the plant. Improve the soil drainage. Mix coarse river sand in the soil to increase drainage. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.